Hell yeah, Morris. Little flick, this is dangerous. Morse, a cut back in. Drop behind, Morse with a huge save. Still loose, still loose, and it's knocked in, but wait, a whistle first. Back into the box, the Huskies. Good turn. Boy, the right spot every single time. Another tremendous ball from inside. No one gets a touch on it. Mick Lietti was very athletic in getting around that ball and getting it on frame, and yes, Hunter Morse. With sure hands and firm feet, does a real. She stayed time. pinned in a little bit. Good move here from Townsend. Back across. Morse gets low. And Morse gets back up. I'll tell you what, he is agile. He's got quick feet. And he seems to be in the right position all of the time. To Tommy Barlow and Reese Buckmaster. Barlow, of course, with Wisconsin. Shot! Oh, and just getting a piece of it is. Watch this right here. I felt like Morris got a piece of it. That's the second ball we were talking about. Ostrom comes in from the far flank. Just racks this one up. Look at this rip. And that's a misread on the, the official's part. Top 20 volleyball coming up after this one. The Huskies trying to make it 2-0. Morris with another save. counter trying to cross in a little bit of traffic second opportunity and a one to six to Duma was gonna send one fine McFadden it's gonna do it oh and what a save by Morris and Temple has an opportunity Jackson Temple gets the shot off kick save made by Morse up here for the Scarlet Knights nice lead pass up ahead Rutgers has a chance this one skips by the goal as Morse got up, up ahead, Temple trying to get some room, lets it fly, and the save made by Morse, who had to dive to make the stop. Not much in, in the way of a foul on Deborah. Beck knew as he was losing his footing, he just tried to get body position in front of Deborah and gets bailed out. Left his foot, he said, turn, and then quickly realized Penn State defender was closing down. He had to say man on. So in the blink of an eye, that's how quickly the pressure from Penn State is coming, that the decisions and the shouts are changing. There's Mutatu. Trying to cut back on Hackenberg. And he earns a corner. Their second corner. Hackenberg heads it out. There's Miller who took the corner. He was the focal point without Sloat, who they've managed to score three goals tonight with him being out through a red card. Of course, his brother was a star center back for the Maryland Terrapins. In as Morse makes the run. Well, to come back and take it away from Mutatu. Harris, side of his foot, good ball! Yeah, ball. What a header! Has put smoke on it with his head. The sophomore does a really nice job of making a hard run to the far post, and that service comes in. Geelan with the... Way! Corner kick driven in. Morris gets... Loose. Coming up big. Yeah, getting the work done. As this ball travels across the six, he's got to get down very, very quickly for a big man. Does a really nice job of snuffing out that opportunity for Maryland. I love how Michigan State puts... Going the other way, the goal scorer, Justin Geelan. Geelan is in. Matzalevich is open, but he gets it right to Morris. Just needs to try to chip it. Serves a pretty good ball into the box. Cruz settles it down. Takes the shot. Oh, just misses. And corner. Settling it, picking out a corner in a while. Yeah, that and, was bending uh, in. Yeah, absolutely. Too much on it. Woodruff didn't even think it was for him. Look at the pace now. Channing Chasson one-on-one -on -one with Hunter Morse. Big kick save there that time for the Spark Center. Tomasino runs up to take it. Now he drops it down. Fire shot saved. Somehow saved by Morse. I'm a Zach. He's a bright light when he's healthy. Into the 18. Back across. Tejas. They continue to battle. Shot by Zaki. Finally cleared out of there. 
Damon Renzi, Mohamed Zaki, little move, Zaki, Zaki, little touch, oh, what a save from Morse. As we see here off the Spartan turnover, Tejas finding Zaki, who has one thing on his mind, attacking the goal, quick feet, just unable to get it past Morse, who sprawls by Michigan. Popovich, Popovich for the hat trick, handled by Morse. <laughs> Ibarra. Oh, well and it's it's a save by Hunter Morse and an offside call will pull it all back. Yeah, great stuff all around. Big time save in the end by Morse, but great play. Put it all the way up. That'll be around the penalty spot. Morse comes and takes. Goes over the back of Woodruff. Well done commanding his box. Corner kick for the Huskies, trying to add to that one nothing lead. They go short corner, set back in, and Morse commanding control inside the six. Great stuff by Morse as he keeps an eye on that ball and beats the Washington attacking team. The Huskies inside the 18, and again, Morse, you can hear him say keeper, and he's got it no problem. Sunday. Huskies looking to add to that one nothing lead. Good tackle late. Morse. A little pushing and shoving there. Surprising to see him not put it away the way he started this season. Looked like Colton Stanley was there a moment ago. Crosses in. Hunter Morris calling for. He punches it out. Takes out Beck while he's at it. Another corner cross. Close looking one off the shot. And just why? Crosses in. Broncos nice looking opportunity. Hunter Morris is there to take care of business. He's been so good dealing with the set pieces so far this year. Just being a force on every cross. The handle. We'll see if Dumas takes it. He does. High lofted ball. Carried out of there. Well, count it up. In the first minute, Hunter Morris doing the job a big six foot four player should do, and that's extending himself in traffic and making sure that ball is continuing. Two lurking around the six four, making different runs, and right in the hands of Morris. Just pulls it out of the air and brings it back down. That's just good confidence. You know, he was a hockey goalkeeper, and he attributes that experience in high school as a hockey goaltender. Spinning on it now is Lynn. Lynn will give it back to Coleman. Good ball. Morse will punch it out first. Morse. Full well, there's coming contact coming. Great driven ball inside, but Morse makes the lunge forward and punches that ball away. Shot towards the goal, going up to make the play. Let's see how they play it. Bang towards the goal and punched out by Morse. Served into the box, but Hunter Morse comes up to get it outside the six. There's every bit of a case for a shot for a handball, but nonetheless, play continues on. Now Privet was trying to take it right at Pimlock. It's Noah Leibold. Curls it in that direction, but scooped up by Morse. One back by Maryland. Once again, Hunter Morse. Decides to ping it quickly, hoping to spring Mutatu. Speaks volumes to his commitment to his idea. DeRosa lofted ball. Morse, a little bit of collision there with Matsalevich, and he still was able to handle it. Make sure you connect with the ball. Every single step, shot, touch, and adventure. And then you've got Hunter Morris that just says, I got this. 
That's a pretty good ball too, right? Finding Miller. Miller. Here's a big time save by Hunter Morse. In through traffic, pulls it down. Now the quick distribution. Michael Miller's on the run. He picks his head up and he's got a couple of runners with him. They'll go right back at it. In the box, Ooh. Paulus just couldn't quite to stop it. And that's what he does. Right in the box. Ooh. Oh, he comes out and punches it out of the. Because they sounded like a small European stadium. As the Buckeyes swing one in, Morse comes up big. Wins the battle. That in front of him, so he turns around and gives it to Weaver. And Weaver's ball in towards the far post. Aerial battle nabbed out of the sky by Hunter Morse. In possession. Umar Farouk Osman. And Hunter Morse with the collision there. My Great work by Pacelli to hold the ball up, find the streaking Osman who puts in a dangerous ball into the six. Hunter Morse coming out and making sure Zaki knows that. Quick throw, Palazzolo. And Morse on a slicing ball. But they're getting through the midfield quite well. That ball not going to work. Hunter Morse brings it down with his feet. Lachlan McLean couldn't get that one to Jacob Bilyeu, the freshman. And you can hear the Cougars. Blindly hits it forward. All the way back to Morse. Morse to Scherenberg, man on his back. Hogan Wally keeps it. Come back to Watunga. They call him Wets for short. As it will come back to Morse. forearm but hopefully we get a look yeah there's a couple outstretched arms and I'm not I'm not exactly sure who's it hit attempt there ball gets away Morales right at the hands of Morse but my goodness Michigan State have to be thankful for how that turned out Jack Beck does well to push him wide there Chipper down the line, it goes into the feet of Woodruff, back to Hunter Morris's feet, and back to Woodruff. Aaron Berg. And once again, back to Hunter Morris's feet. So again, Michigan State playing Michigan State style. So they reset all the way back to the goalkeeper, it back to Stanley. Stanley had a couple Broncos around it. Hunter Morris is a little loose ball and gives it easily to Sternberg. Sternberg. The last few minutes we've seen players go down, slow to get back up. And of course, as both of these teams get ready for their conference sketch, that uh, was the Bronco, and now all the way back to Hunter Morris's feet, and he'll pick it up here. Actually, he will pick it up here in the box. Miller Rainey was trying to make the run, and that's that's what he's been doing. He's just trying to make down the run down the lines. 
Ah, excuse me. That initial goal as a Spartan in his freshman season. And, I mean, of course, I mean, you, you, you want a goal, but, you know, that's also not necessarily all you have to do. Oh, most definitely. Just hoping the Spartans can in his. So this is what they needed to do earlier. Cleared out by the Broncos, and Hunter Morris will just trap it nice and easy. You have to mention Giuseppe Baroni out injured, and just what a huge impact it's having on the team. Would you bring it back to Morris? Hunter Morris, redshirt sophomore, Belleville, Michigan, here on high school. Tosses it in, Jackson Temple plays it, and just kind of boots it towards the goal. Stopped there by Morrison. Now he picks up. Rutgers putting on some pressure here. Morris trying to clear it out. Knocked away by Michigan State. They tried to go with a cross on the near side over to Aronis, who was hanging out on the left wing. But Michigan State got in the passing lane. When they watch film back, I don't know when that's going to be, tomorrow, Sunday, Monday, whenever it is, if they had worked towards that far inside, it looked like the Scarlet Knights had a much better route to the goal there. It's a big compliment. Beck settles. And a good... Back to Kuhn, who played it short. Influential throughout the course of the game as he can do it on the defensive end, and he can get forward. His technique is superb. He strikes the ball really well. We saw a moment ago where he hit the... Yes, uh, both as a player at the youth level and then getting older, I can tell you from experience, the man knows how to motivate... Big Ten tournament to get in the NCAA tournament. Matt Zalevich. And our first look here now at Hunter Moore's redshirt sophomore. Nielsen, Sternberg checks back to get it to Morse. Restarts for Maryland. And, uh, and he just had to build up some confidence. And as he did, I think he's really come a long way in these 10. Morse trying to figure out where he wants to distribute it. He's going to play the long ball. Plenty of zip. Exchange between him and Stone. Back to Morse once again. Watungu makes himself available. They find him. So it'll be Pimblot and Miller in the middle of the park here today. Woodruff finds himself as a part of that back line, and it looks as though right now Watungu is out wide. We do have Stone pretty high up the field now, and a dinking pass over to him. Played back conservatively. Holland deep, swinging cross in towards the back post. Had a man there that time being Kylie. Moore stings it into the middle. Woodruff, not usually in that area of space. Michael Pimlock can't get onto it. Now a deep ball over the top, trying to find Kylie. Calmly taken there by Hunter Morse. Instead, they'll dink it in towards the middle. Switch of play. Headed on to it, Ortiz. But Morse sniffs it out nicely. Well, Spartans sharing the wealth once again. They do have now 10 total goals on the season with seven different scores prior to that one. Connor George. Certainly happy. You said it yourself, Ian. Just the look on his face when he netted that one. Eight Buckeyes, they did strike first after Jack Holland. Beautiful delivery on a corner. Matteo Benatti, the man all the way from Italy, was unmarked coming into it. Well, first off, he's just a really awesome guy. Totally, like, amazingly nice. Uh, but it, I think what he is focusing on this year is last year he didn't have... Big Ten play in 3-7-3 three, three in overall play. So just trying to take stock of what Michigan State's doing now uh, with the absence of Wutungu. Sternberg's move from right back to left back. Morissette gets better, and he's ready for the Big Ten tournament, the NCAA tournament. You got Zaki Popovich, 
Hallahan, Umar Fruit counter and possess win counter attacking has really meant that Michigan State's midfield hasn't been able to get into this game. Coach Damon Renzing has to be pleased with his team's performance this second half. They've done exactly what he's wanted them to. Morse upfield. Beautiful job to settle. Oi, 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 Morse, Morse, Morse. Slip by Stone, but Hunter Morse comes off his line to grab it. Quick distribution. Out to Logan Wally's going to have to work with Hunter Morse before Hallahan is left in the space in between. Lovely ball.